All right, so Carmine here with another kind of blog rant, I think, this time. So New York State Legislature, the Assembly is talking about passing a bill. It's a, it's a measure now, they call it, right? What they're going to do is they're introducing this. Felix Ortiz, who's a Democratic uh, Assemblyman from Brooklyn, says that he thinks that restaurants should not add salt to food. Now, let me get this straight. So in the past year, we've talked about getting rid of hydrogenated fats. Uh, I can tell you my restaurants from the tw last 20 years, there's never been a hydrogenated fat. The only thing that I know of is if you go to the supermarkets and you grab one of those uh, Drake's Cakes or Ring Dings or Entenmann's or whatever, not to pick up anybody, it's all of them, all the big factories, the big bakeries, add this stuff. They take a fat, they add hydrogen to it. It's a very simple chemical process. What that does is it gives a mouthfeel and a texture and it just lets this stuff last on the shelf a lot longer. Ever think about that? How come you buy some bread and it lasts two or three days? You could buy a crumb cake and that'll last 10 days, right? It's this hydrogenated fat. So little guys like me, restaurants, bakeries, your neighbor, uh, baker down the block, they don't add that stuff. So that was the first problem. Then they started talking about, well, we want to take uh, nutritional analysis. You know, that's dynamite. Okay, if you're too stupid to figure out or to do some research and, or even care about what you're putting in your body, all right, so we're going to take care of those folks because, you know, I guess the general consumer were a bunch of morons. So now we're going to put the label out there. Well... Uh, they're going to pass the law to force you to read the label next, or they're going to make you sign a waiver saying, I read the label and I agree that I know this is harmful, but I'm going to eat it. More importantly, what it does for little guys, again, the little restaurants is, when's the next time you're going to see a mom and pop restaurant? Or again, I'm in the restaurant, I want to make a special tonight. How am I possibly going to make a pork chop special if I have to figure out the chemical makeup and nutritionally analyze what's in this thing? I mean, I'm making a special today, so it's going to take cooking out of the process. I thought that was pretty stupid. And then I hear about this Felix Ortiz who wants to pass this law. He wants to make it a law that any restaurant, anybody that prepares food in an establishment that charges you to eat can get fined up to $1,000. Well, no, I'm sorry. They can get fined $8,000 for every time they add salt. So let's see. If you're um, Oscar's Smokehouse, a great place, you want to add salt to the smoking process. Every time you add it, you're going to get libel -y. You can be fined. You're liable to be fined a thousand dollars. Well, I'm in the restaurant cooking for you, and I'm making soup. And if I put some soup on the uh, vegetables as I'm sautéing them, that's a thousand dollar fine. Then if I taste the soup at the end, and I decide that it needs a little more salt and pepper, that's a thousand dollar fine. Now, that's just for salt. Are we going to find out that if I add sugar, that if I add pepper? I mean, is each one of these things? How much are we giving away here? Is this America? I mean, it's just getting absolutely ridiculous. Maybe what the legislator and all those guys and girls down there should think about is. Instead of worrying about salt and how you guys add salt or I add salt at my restaurant, maybe they should start thinking about the $9 billion budget gap and maybe they should figure out ways to not spend as much because I know if I go home with 100 bucks in my pocket, I can't possibly spend 200 bucks this week. So maybe that's where they should put their attention and stop worrying about the little things that really don't make a difference. I mean, it's bad enough that I got to wear a seatbelt. Now they just keep going and going and going. I mean, come on, when's this going to end? It is America after all, right? Hey, what are your thoughts? Let us know.